Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. Towns and Gobert hold down the post for him. And it's McDaniels in at the three spot. And for Portland, Brogdon out there with Anthony Simons. Then it's Walker. Then there's eight. And it's Grant in at the four spot. And when you consider how athletic Doris both these teams are, what do you think both should be looking to do here tonight? Uh, Kevin, athleticism is best showcased in transition, so we expect the pace to be high. There is going to be pressure at the rim. The potential for the spectacular could happen on any moment. That one, no good. Towns with the defensive effort. Conley against Brogdon. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. First one falls. Boy, Mike Conley has always been such a steadying influence, a respected leader. Doesn't matter what team he's on. And so he makes both from the line. Well, GA, it took some time, but the Blazers gave in to Lillard's trade request. And there was no way for both parties to move forward. But the move had been speculated for years, and the Blazers get a chance to hit the reset and develop their young talent. Passes to Conley, and here's Gobert. He's covered by Aiton, and Gobert kicks to Conley. Rebound by the Trailblazers. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, I mean, on the road, tough environment. They were right there, but just missed some key shots. You know what? Playing on the road is always challenging. It requires a level of energy and focus. You've got to match what the home team gives you, and they didn't do it. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Grant. HEA, you went to back-to-back -back conference finals with Portland. What's it like playing here? I mean, this building is as loud as any in the NBA. The fans are tremendous, very loyal. I really enjoyed my time here in Rip City. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, here we are talking about Timberwolf greats. One player standing out to me, and Doris, I know to you, that's Kevin Garnett. Well, I don't think there is any debate that KG is number one. He is Minnesota's all-time leader in points, assists, rebounds, steals, and blocks. My goodness, what a career. Shot clock at five. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. Gobert can't hit. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Here's Brogdon. Here's Aiton. And he converts the layup. Aiton's got his second basket of the game. Well, you have to love DeAndre Aiton's effort, intensity, and relentlessness as a rebounder. Conley, the pass to McDaniels. Towns looking it over. And there's the pass to come. Shoots over Brogdon. Another miss by Minnesota. A contested mid-range shot can't be what they were looking for there. 
well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. Here's McDaniels. That one goes. Count it. Well, we've come to expect this from Mike Conley, putting the pass on time and on target. Timeout, timeout. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. Last time they came together was in Minnesota, where they felled the Wolves. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. Well, you have to believe the coaching staff made that a point of emphasis. Better aggressiveness, better intensity on the backboards. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And here are the top free throw shooting teams this month. You don't want to put these guys in the line too often. In fourth, the Trailblazers. And they've had a lot of success at the free throw line converting those at a high level. So I'd look for them to continue to attack the rim. 116 left here in the opening quarter. Master Grant. to Kamare over Anderson and the basket by Kamare. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Timberwolves trail by six. Anderson kicks to Towns. A three-pointer no good. Here's the Trailblazers with the ball. A big stretch here going 10-2. Henderson for three. Offensive rebound. Fiebel. Good D by Anderson. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. A shot's good for Milton. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Towns with the steal. And now Minnesota on the fast break. The big dunk at the end of the break. Wow, the long reach of Cat. When he grabs for the ball, it's over. Milton against Henderson. Inside. Here's Grant. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. There's the foul. That's against Minnesota. Now I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Trailblazers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And how about as a group? 80% on the season. One of their best attributes. Shoot two. The free throw drops for Grant. Well, I like how Jeremy Grant continues to work on his game. The jumper is coming along, and he remains an exceptional defensive player. And so he hits both. Five seconds left to play here in the first. And stolen by Feibel. And so the first quarter is in the books. Trailblazers lead by four. From Portland. We're back in a moment. the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and from Portland guys what jumps out to you stat wise well when you control the glass you control the second chance opportunities on both ends and that's how they controlled the first quarter I thought they were the much more physical team 
There are many ways to build a team as we know it, Doris. Do you prefer building around a star or a more team-based approach? I think, Kevin, what we have learned unequivocally is that it is not just about collecting talent. Certainly, you need star players to win in the NBA. But so much of this is about how do the pieces fit around? There is a reason it is a team sport, Kevin. Don't overlook the role players around those stars. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, the wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniels. Kyle Anderson is out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley in at the one. Ayton and a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Ayton's got the lead up to six now for the Trailblazers. Now Conley. Nine points last game. Passes it to Anderson. From 13, here's Gobert, and he uses the glass on the layup. Gobert's got his first basket of the night. This guy has been a superb offensive rebounder. Gobert uses that size and positioning. Brogdon with it. Picked up by Edwards. The shot by Brogdon, no good. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by four. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, always disappointing when, when you allow a team to come back. But as we all know, no lead is safe in the NBA. The shot by Brogdon, wide open. Sinks the triple. Well, Malcolm Brogdon already has a 50-40-90, the ultimate efficient season under his belt, putting in work from the three-point line. You know, Greg, the way Malcolm Brogdon is used in the catch-and-shoot game, it makes that offense very difficult to stop. Well, he's a high-percentage shooter, doesn't go through many ups and downs, and when he doesn't have the look he wants, he's willing to get off the ball. And here are the Trailblazers now, following the miss by Michael Conley. Here's Kamari. No bear with the block. Almost inescapable, that 7'9 wingspan. Send it back, big Rudy Gobert. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. And, guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just getting the ball on a string, creating some opportunities. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. The free throw drops from McDaniels. And Doris here, we're looking at Jaden McDaniels' stats. He's clearly been stepping up his game. He has, Kevin. It's always fun to see a young talent develop their skill set, build real confidence, and Jaden starting to carve out his space in this lead. Timberwolves trail. Towns in the corner. There's the pass to Milton. One ten left in the first half of basketball. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Kicks it to McDaniels. Nailed from three-point land. McDaniels got six here in this quarter. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Simons from outside. Portland again missing. Oh, that was a great effort defensively. Get a hand up in the face of the shooter. It's so important. Shots good by Alexander Walker. And it's a three-point Timberwolves lead. you got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. McDaniels passes to Reed. And there it is for him. Reeves got the lead up to five now for the Timberwolves. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Timberwolves ahead as they wrap up the second quarter on a 14-3 run.
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. They only had a couple rough stretches, and as the first period came to a close, they had a four-point deficit. They were able to take control in the second quarter and finish the half ahead by five. And, uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? Most of the damage they're doing is just a They've made a concerted effort to work the ball inside, create high percentage looks. And that could open up the perimeter for them in the second half, with the D worried about the post. Jack, how do you think Portland play? Well, the story is their poor shooting, under 40%. You've got to give the D some credit, but they look uninspired on offense. It would be nice to see fewer isolation plays, more ball movement, and creating for each other. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Timberwolves leading by five. Aiton is out there with Grant. Then it's Anthony Simons. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Walker in at the three, the small forward. So that's who Chauncey Billups starts the second half with. Here's Simon. And then jammed down as he goes right over Anthony Edwards. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair in a close game the important thing is to get the two points not necessarily the dramatic oh come on he had to go for that <laughs> didn't he my goodness <laughs> and they're bringing you up close and personal on the AT&T 5G slam cam here's McDaniels that's in there Conley with the assist McDaniels got 10 points in the game trailblazers trail by five they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. It's good. Well, it takes a certain level of composure and willingness to absorb contact on the interior. Step up there, Mr. Brogdon. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Simons grew up under the tutelage of his father, whose workout regimen sometimes left his son in tears. Anthony said, I didn't get real joy from working out until middle school. By high school, it was just a normal day. It was so ingrained into me, working out extra and getting up as many shots as possible. Devin? Now it brought him here, David. Thank you so much for the story. Hey, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. The Trailblazers shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Anderson, he's checked in for McDaniels. That's good from Walker. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. At the top of the key, Gobert. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got his fourth rebound in this one. For the tie. And it's Simons missing. They tried to stay perfect in the half, but three for four now. Conley with it. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10.5 points a game. Anderson kicks to Towns. Off target with his three. Portland trailing here. 
Down side, Walker. Gobert with the block. They recover it, and he gets it back. Pass to Kamare. Just four to shoot. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. And it's Aiton missing. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. For Rudy Gobert, he is one of four players' doors to win Defensive Player of the Year three times. And you think back, Kevin, he was a late first-round pick in 2013. Probably has exceeded all expectations. He has obviously cemented himself as one of the all-time defenders out, in out. NBA history. Now how about how he sets his Sorry. man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Now a timeout called by Portland. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Both teams will make substitutions. And here we can check out the score for Malcolm Brogdon. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third quarter. Thibault kicks to Anderson. Back to Thibault. It's good from long range. Bible's got his first three points of the game. He took what the defense was giving him that time. There was nobody on him on the three-point shot. Boy, don't give him the lights out. Poked away. Has to read. Over in the corner, Conley. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. The layup missed. Now, here's Thibel. Guarded by Reed. For the lead. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Anderson outside. Going inside. Banked in off the glass. Three quarters of play in a close game here. But Timberwolves on top. They lead by three. From Portland. We're back in a moment. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Portland with the ball. On the court for Minnesota. The front court is McDaniels and Towns. Anthony Edwards out there with Shake Milton. And it's Gobert in at the five, roaming the paint. Minnesota leading by three. Here's McDaniels. The rebound by Malcolm Brogdon. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now, here's Grant. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got his seventh rebound here tonight. At the elbow, it's Gobert. Got a hand on it. against Milton. 
Now, here's Brogdon. Not a lot of room, and the layup's good off the glass. Uh, you have to appreciate this about Malcolm Brogdon. There's a level of physicality he brings to the guard position. Nice finish through contact. Now here's Towns. Plays it up off the glass. And the Timberwolves lead by three. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Henderson finds Brogdon. Defended by Gobert. And that one's good, Brogdon. Well, the dribble drive from Malcolm Brogdon is one of the key aspects to balance that pretty perimeter game. What a nice move. Edwards passes to Milton. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. And that one, good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Oh, here's Edwards. Shoots over Henderson. Gobert. He hangs in there and crushes in on the second chance points. Gobert's got the lead up to five now for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert is so competitive. Doesn't want to let a big moment go by. Nicely done. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're down by five. 139 left here in the fourth quarter. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Rudy Gobert. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. Michael Conley, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Guys, over the break, Chauncey Billups had some advice for his team. They said, let's lock in, keep our focus. We need everyone down the stretch. Now his players looked engaged, so I think the message got across. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And Grant's such a versatile player. It can do a little bit of everything, including setting up his teammates. Yep, that one goes in there. Oh, the young gun, Anthony Edwards, with the big-time delivery. 59 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And it's Simons missing for Minnesota. They've gone 4 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Conley gets the bucket. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Now, here's Simons. Cramp for three. Money! And now they trail by just four. Wow, the growing up process delivers a big moment for Jeremy Grant. Big time hit. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And he commits the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that puts them up by five. Well, Anthony Edwards has the kind of frame and skill set that can make him a force, but it all comes down to paying the price and putting in the work now. And he adds to their lead with some very solid free throws. And looking for a very quick shot here. 
you've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. Here's Grant, about seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Simons from outside. Gobert pulls it in. And so they choose to intentionally foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Second one is good. Hitting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. I'm just not sure they have the time to pull this one off. No doubt the clock is their biggest enemy right now. It, it just about take a magic trick for them to find the points they need. And so the Timberwolves take the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road. But they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, thanks a lot, Carl. A lot of players got in on the action offensively. When you get it rolling as a team, how good can you be? I mean, it's awesome, you know, to get a chance to keep uh, the defense guessing. You know, we did a great job of that tonight. Uh, you know, we did a fabulous job. We let our defense be our offense tonight, and that's uh, when we were at our best. That's what happens. It certainly was great on the floor tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.